Hello again. We're doing another uh, special type of function. Uh, you generally tend to see it in calculus when you do it with limits. Uh, it's usually neglected for the most part, but it's called a piecewise function. And basically what piecewise function is, is, is a function that's partitioned, uh, separated, into different pieces. And I've got my graph here that I'm going to do, and I remember when I first did this, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? But then, you know, when, once I figured it out, it wasn't so bad at all. But it was intimidating at first. Uh, and basically what I did was I split into three different functions, three different pieces. Uh, it's a little intimidating, like I said, but uh, let me just try to make it as easy as I can. And hopefully it won't be so bad. f of x just means y. That, that's it. It, it. it always just means y if you want to simplify it. Now, what, what it basically is saying is uh, y is equal to x minus 1, the graph. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I can graph x minus 1. You know, the intercept is there and it's up 1 over 1. Um, not quite. Actually, that's uh, where it gets a little difficult. It is this graph, but it's only this graph if x is less than negative 2. So what you do is this. Uh, you go to negative 2. Well, let's keep going here. Down 1 over 1. Uh, down 1 over 1. Yeah, let me put another value there. Down 1 over 1. Okay. Basically, this is the first graph that we're working with. But we can't use it for the whole domain. We can't use it for all the x values. We can only use it if x is less than negative 2. So here's my x is le less than negative 2. It's an open circle because it doesn't have a line underneath it. So that's what I'm working with here. And basically what it means is it's a function that looks like this, but it stops right there. And it, it, it works for everything that's less than negative 2, but it doesn't actually include the value negative 2. So what we basically did was we graphed one, of the pe one uh, aspect of a piecewise function. So we have to continue. Now the graph is x. If x is uh, less than or equal to 2, negative 2, pardon me, uh, excuse me, greater than or equal to negative 2, and less than 0. So now we graph, uh, well, what, what does this one look like, x? Well, the y-intercept is at 0, and it goes up 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, so on and so forth. Well, here's what happens. From negative 2, it's a closed circle all the way to 0, which is an open circle. So this is negative 2 for my x value, this is uh, 0 for my x value, so it goes like that. That's a piecewise function, it's basically cut into pieces. I got something here, but then it stops, up oh, stops, there's no arrow because it starts right there and it doesn't go any further. And then, I want to graph y equals 3 when x is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. So basically from here to here, I graph the next function, well what does y equals 3 look like? Well, we go up 3, and it's a closed circle because it's got a line underneath, and it just goes on for any value greater than 0. And there you go. That's a piecewise function, cut into three different pieces. Uh, a little intimidating at first when you look at it. I mean, don't feel bad if you didn't get it right away. I, when I first saw this, I was like, what's going on here? But, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. Yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a good day. Bye-bye.